the rails, a system failure, service at a standstill, the slow and frustrating crawl home for thousands of people who depend on transit, the network meltdown and its impact on an entire region. Good evening. This is a situation that is still far from over. If you're expecting someone or maybe you're caught in the middle of it yourself, this has been a painful afternoon commute. Go trains via rail, up express, take your pick, all of them affected by this sudden and severe outage. And it will take time to get things back on track. CTV's Allison Hurst is live at Union Station with tonight's top story. Allison. And that out outage really started just before the afternoon rush really started to get going. All of these trains halted and remaining in place on the tracks where they were until they could start to work through what exactly what was going was going on on the CN tracks. The uh, limited service is slowly coming back on now with, with them trying to get about 30 minute trains running, but they're still warning of delays. Trains at a standstill, derailing commuters' trips home at rush hour. Well, it sucks. I want to get home and watch a ball game, but uh, what are you going to do? Trains for GO, VIA and the UP Express were halted this afternoon. Metrolink said at the time there's a CN network-wide system failure that is affecting all of our rail corridors. Trains will continue to hold at the nearest stations. It is frustrating. Yeah, yes. Like well, because I might have to go on the bus and I'm going to be in traffic. I need to be at... Uh event at 7:30. In a tweet, CN says it is currently experiencing an internet connectivity issue and electronic data interchange issue, adding there's no indication of a cybersecurity issue, but it is under investigation. It's sort of service coming back on each of the lines. We're trying again to get to 30 minute service approximately with some delays. We're still encouraging customers where they can to take alternate travel. To take an Uber from Union to Scarborough GO station, Quotes were for more than $100, and a line says fares are a lot higher due to increased demand. I'm trying to get to Stouffville right now. Uh, it's been unfortunate. I've been looking at Ubers, and they're in the $200 to $300 range, uh, up to even $500 I've seen uh, just to get back into town. So. Go buses are available to deal with the rush, and the TTC tweeted it was working to add extra subway service on lines 1 and 2 to assist. And those delays are expected to continue as they're still working on trying to figure out what happened and solve the issue. There is an investigation underway. Reporting live, I'm Allison Hurst. Nathan, back to you. All right, thanks, Allison. And we're following every update with this situation. You can head to our website for live developments throughout this evening. That's at ctvnewstoronto.ca and download the CTV News app.